Mr. Rahul Gandhi's scornful statements yesterday betray the Congress Party's long-standing Prabhu Shri Ram Virodhi mindset. Mr. Rahul Gandhi's disdainful remarks yesterday have not only dishonored, but they've demeaned the centuries of selfless struggle and sacrifices of millions of Prabhu Ram devotees who have carried Prabhu Ram in their hearts. And what kind of delusional alternative universe of denial is Mr. Rahul Gandhi existing in? What kind of la-la land is Rahul Gandhi living in? Because after 550 years of tapas, now we have the Bhavya Divya Ram Mandir majestically and magnificently standing in Ayodhya. First, Mr. Rahul Gandhi should register that. Maharishi Valmiki had said, Ramo Vigravahan Dharmaha, meaning that Prabhu Shri Ram personifies Dharma, which is why the architects of our constitution had placed Lord Shri Ram's picture in the section where we had the fundamental rights. The Ram Mandir is a Rashtra Mandir, but the Congress and the India Alliance have always had this Lord Ram and Hindu Virodhi mindset. And, you know, it's, it's existing for a long time. You would remember, one would do well to remember, in the Congress-led UPA Alliance in 2007, the government had filed an affidavit in the Supreme Court saying there is no historical proof of Lord Ram. And the DMK, which was an important partner in the alliance, and one of the leaders had said, which engineering college did Raman go to? Did he study civil engineering? This was their mindset. Even recently, a DMK leader two months ago had said, we are enemies of Ram. No word from the Congress party. But look at the Congress party's attitude itself. Mr. Sam Patrada had said during the election, Ram Mandir and Ram Navami challenged the idea of India. And there were reports when a leader, a Congress leader from Uttar Pradesh resigned, he had come to the press and told them that there was a thought process in the Congress that they'll form a super commission to overturn the verdict of the Supreme Court in the Ayodhya, you know, uh, verdict. Like how Rajiv Gandhi had overturned the Shabana verdict. So this is the mindset of the Congress party. And not only that, look at the India alliance. The Samajwadi, Samajwadi party leader has the Faizabad MP standing next to him and says, Raja Ayodhya. Raja of Ayodhya is Lord Rama. And you had an uh, RJD minister then, an education minister, saying Ram Chitra Manas, parts of Ram Chitra Manas are like potassium cyanide. So this is the debased mindset of the Congress and India alliance against the values and ethos of our culture. And this is a part of a larger Hindu Virodhi attitude of this India alliance. You would, uh, you know, you, uh, a sitting minister from Karnataka had said, Hindu is a Ganda word. I mean, look at the way they are, you know, they, and the kind of attacks the India lens made on Sanatana Dharma saying it's dengue, malaria, and AIDS. And an SP leader had said Hindu ek dhoka hai, meaning Hindu religion is a fraud. So, basically, their, this statement of Rahul Gandhi, this arrogant and condescending statement of Rahul Gandhi exposes their anti-Hindu and uh, Ram Virodhi mindset. And this is why they've been repeatedly defeated. And this stands against what, you know, Bharat and India, you know, symbolize. And which is why the, the Congress party will never learn from its mistake and they'll be continue, you know, they'll be repeatedly defeated by the people of India. And